Good afternoon, my friends, and welcome back to one of my last and final videos here in the beautiful country of Lebanon. I'm actually currently here in Amshit, Amshit Seaside to be exact, as you can hear with the beautiful sounds of the waves in the background. And guys, in today's video, I have been waiting to share this video with you for so long. The reason being is because this video is linked to something special, and that special thing is to share with you guys the ultimate guide to traveling around the country of Lebanon. As a lot of you have known, because you've been following me along on YouTube for the last three months, and probably 45 videos roughly, I've been filming all around the country of Lebanon, showing you guys things to do, places to visit, and a whole bunch of different experiences. As well as in 2021, I spent three, two, three months here and filmed um, maybe 33 videos then as well. So I've really gotten to know this country, this geographically tiny country, yet filled with so many things from the beach here to 20 minutes up, you guys probably can't see it, but right behind that building, there's mountains. So that's one of the most beautiful parts about Lebanon, as you can see so much in such a short period of time. And the beautiful part about why I created this book is because so many people don't actually know about the beauty of Lebanon. They only hear the things in the media, which are, you know, some of the political conflicts, which are, of course, the negative things going on here, which do for sure affect this place, the currency crisis, the fuel crisis, the a lot of the corruption that's happening. There's a lot of negative things for sure about Lebanon, and I don't want to sugarcoat it and tell you otherwise. But one thing I do want to share with you is just how great, especially right now as a tourist, it can be because one, when you come here, you're able to support the locals when you're putting money back into the pockets of the people here working at a much lower salary than they did three years ago from the currency crisis. And number two, you can see such a beautiful country on a fairly good budget compared to other destinations with similar beach style settings of restaurants, as you can see way down there, water right down there. We got a Habib here right there just hanging out in the background listening. And so, yeah, like it just, there's so much to offer in the country of Lebanon. And so, Luckily last year when I arrived to Lebanon like five or six days in Luke Demant and I were actually traveling Around Lebanon together and we arrived to Juni, Lebanon. That's where we met uh, Fuad. We were walking down the street and the Lebanese kindness, one of the main things why I love this country is because of the, the people's personalities, the hospitality, how welcoming they are You know everything I could talk about it for hours honestly, but while we were walking down the streets in Juni we experienced that a uh, very strong uh, feeling of the hospitality from Lebanese people. We were walking on the road, we met Fuad. Fuad invited us to uh, hop in his car and cruise around Juni, learn about the place, find some traditional Lebanese food, which we appreciated so, so much. And after that, we saw Lebanon in a completely different eye. We saw Lebanon in a different way than we were seeing it the first five or six days because we had a local showing us around. In that time, we saw so much last year and I fell in love with the country. Obviously, I fell in love with Habib tea as well during this journey around here. Uh, so there's a lot of great parts to it, but specifically related to this video, guys, traveling around Lebanon, I will say can be an amazing experience, but it can be even better when you know what to do and where to go. And probably right now, most importantly, what not to do. And so basically over the last uh, three months, as I kind of started this video, my buddy Fuad and I, we took our knowledge together and we basically created this in-depth guide this guide that shares everything from how to navigate the currency crisis how to get fresh dollars into lebanon fresh dollars just us dollars into lebanon when you can't use your atm card at the atm otherwise you're going to pay 20 to 30 times as much mini guides on cities so basically we have 15 of our favorite cities in lebanon places we've explored and things to do in those mini guides inside this book we have along with restaurants and other important things that you'll want to know when you're exploring Lebanon. So you have that as well as we actually have created itineraries also in this guidebook. One week, two week, three week, depending on how long you're coming, you can actually take these itineraries and see a large portion of Lebanon in a short period of time. And so we spent a lot of time analyzing all of the destinations we went to and figured out which ones are going to be the most exciting ones with a limited amount of time so on top of that we have a lot of other things you know words to know in arabic when you're coming here uh, foods to try how to get around transportation numbers for taxis can you take uber around the country honestly guys the list goes on and on and on and we've actually created 84 pages of content in this book 
And so you can imagine how helpful that is. And so after probably like 100 hours of work into this Lebanon guide, we have finalized it. We've actually talked to other Lebanese expats who've came back to Lebanon and spent some time exploring the place, specifically spent some time with Fuad exploring the place. And we had them take a look at the guide and get a good idea like, what else is missing here? And we took their feedback, we implemented it, and we went over the guide like five more times and put as many items as we could in there. And so, as you can imagine here, we have put our hearts and souls into making sure that you have the most amazing experience if you come to Lebanon and how to avoid running into any issues. And so that brought us to make the Lebanon travel guide called Lebanon through Mac and Fuad's eyes. And let me tell you this guys, it is a beautiful piece of work if I can say so myself and it is finally available for sale. Let me tell you for a very small price, it will save you a lot of time, money, efforts, confusion, frustration, concern, you name every adjective in the book that throws you off whenever you're traveling or planning for a trip, this fixes it. And if there's something that's not in there that should be in there, you email me and you tell me exactly what it is and we'll get you the answers. I wouldn't have spent this much time making a book if I wasn't completely passionate about it. And so I'm just that confident and that excited about it that uh, I can't wait to have it in your guys' hands. And I can't wait to hear after your trip whether you drop a comment on my YouTube video, you send me an email, and you let me know how this book actually changed your way of viewing Lebanon, uh, helped you define your itinerary plans, whatever it might be. I love hearing the feedback. I love uh, hearing from you guys. And so it's really special. This country has a very special place in my heart now. I'm gonna be coming back to this place for the rest of my life, no doubt about it. And uh, uh, I just wanna share it with as many people as I can. Most of the people that I know who explore Lebanon as tourists usually have a really close friend who's Lebanese, or they're just Lebanese people themselves that have migrated to another country in the past few generations and they're coming back to visit. But only a very small percentage of the people that come to Lebanon are just foreigners coming here on vacation. And let me just tell you, that should change. And after you guys have seen all my content on YouTube and after you check out this guide, I think you'll feel the exact same way as me. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I wanna tell you guys that if you go ahead, head down to the link in the description below. In the first 24 hours of posting this video, I'll be giving you 10% off the list price right now and that'll save you even more money there. I can tell you guys, this is gonna be worth it. It is an ebook, so you can download it on your iPad, your laptop, your phone, whatever it might be, and you'll have it at your fingertips even when you're walking around the streets of Lebanon like we are. So yeah guys, really hope you've enjoyed uh, listening to this video. Obviously it's a little bit different than my usual videos, but this project that Fuad and I worked on is a very special one. We're not advertising for some other company. We're sharing something with you that is very meaningful to us. If this product doesn't sell that much, but it helps at least a handful of people, traveling around Lebanon, then for me it's a complete success because the intention of this product was to help my buddy Fuad start his tourism business because he gets 50% of the proceeds of this book and as well as increase tourism, most importantly, number one for Lebanon and put money back in the pockets of the families because you guys will feel even more comfortable coming to this country and exploring and getting to know it. So yeah guys, thank you so much as always and uh, it'll mean the world to me if you can go down there, support this channel, Purchase one of these ebooks and hope to see you in Lebanon sometime in 2022, 2023, or in the future, whenever it might be. So, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.